key things in this fight, people looking at the jab. The jab that Oscar De La Hoya threw, which caused problems for the first five rounds before he got tired, ain't gonna be the same jab that uh, Moses is gonna throw because Shane don't really throw the jab as a scoring punch. He usually throws the jab as a range find and a jab to set up thing. Cause what uh, Moses does, he usually has his jab in his hand on that motion. And then you know that the right hand's gonna come through the left hand to his hand on you. And he's like, just looking for the range. And then ha ha ha, and he throws the shots at you. So as he's there with a jab now, he's there, perking there can wait to throw up the big shots. Cause you know he likes to throw them then three, four shots, he likes to throw on them, he likes to throw them shots. But with Mayweather, you know he's going to come out with them blocks. So as that right hand comes at him, usually when guys trigger the, sh the right hand at uh, Mayweather, you look right throughout his career, they always go straight right hand. Mosley don't throw like a straight right hand all the time. Mosley is more of a cuffing shot, like he's rolling it around. But still, you know what Floyd does, Floyd does that slip and roll. He, he, he slips, he rolls it and he's gone. You know what I mean? But you know, from that time there, because his relentlessness, He's going to come straight back with that left hook. But he's going to roll that as well. He's going to roll it or catch it. Right? So the, the thing, what I'm seeing, like the scoring punch for um, Sugar Shane is going to be, is that uppercut. Because a lot of the times, what he does, he's in the middle, he's in the center of the ring, and what Floyd does, he backs, he backs, like he's waiting, he's waiting. As soon as he can attack, you know, that slip, and he moves out. Right, as he slips and he moves out, we do this again now, as he slips and he moves out, the shot that I'm seeing that, if Moses does his homework, slip and, and get out, slip, get out, it's going to be that uppercut, he's going to catch him as he's trying to get out. You know what I mean? And then back him up. Use his strength, put his force, his will on top of him to kind of hustle him out of the fight. Not going to be easy to do, but that's what he's going to have to do. What Shane can't do is try and walk him down. If he walks him down, he's got to set up traps while he's walking him down. Because you know, Mayweather's got that start walking down, walking down, the trigger's boom, then you're gonna come with that check left up. Come with that check left up right hand, because he walks back, walks back, boom, boom, throws in two shots on you. So what Shane's gonna have to do is a lot of head movement. Because if you look at Shane's uh, 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 fights, even, even recently, his last fight with Margarito, his head movement is, is, he don't really move his head that much. You know what I mean? Because he's a warrior, he just wants to bang you out. So what he's gonna have to do is a lot of head movement to try and avoid those sneaky counters that Floyd's gonna possess at him. So as he's coming at him and he's there, he's gotta have that head movement. So then Floyd, he's gotta have that head movement all the time. Because if he ain't got that head movement, he's gonna be catching him. And if he's catching him shots, he's gonna start losing on points, he's gonna be behind on points. What he's gonna have to do is every time that he's out close, rough him up and throw downstairs. Because you don't really see guys throw a lot of body attack because Floyd does that when he does the, the blocking, he's turning all the time, turning all the time, turning all the time. They can do that all day long. We saw it against Endo, who we've done it beautiful. Here's the even with an experienced guy, he's gonna have to throw downstairs, then come up with the uppercut. Up the, the key punch in this fight for Mosley is gonna be the uppercut. The uppercut, then following through to take away, to demoralize him. The problems that we see inside somebody like Shane Mosley is his legs. His legs could be the thing that's going to let him down in this fight. You know what I mean? Because you look, you get the stance as, 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 as Mayweather. Mayweather's got superb legs. I've never seen a fight of recent times with such good legs. Not since Perno Whitaker anyway. Look, so as he's trying to track him, he can spin you off there. As he's trying to track him, he can spin you off there. All the time, he's got beautiful legs. It's like this guy can see, see things happen before they even happen. So he's got to be disciplined enough not to waste his legs. Because if you waste your legs, that's when you're going to end up in trouble. And then when you're going to start hearing 9 and 10, and your legs are letting you down, then that's, 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 that's going to be a big thing in this fight. I would have to go with Floyd Mayweather. For the, for the mere fact he's, he's younger, he's quicker, he's a fresher guy, he hasn't been in too many wars, then you'd have to go for him. I think it's going to be a brilliant fight up to halfway mark, and then Floyd's going to figure him out, because Floyd's a brilliant thinker. And after Floyd starts figuring him out, then Floyd's going to pick him on points. But what we are going to see in this fight is somebody forcing their will on top of uh, Floyd Mayweather. Somebody, so he's going to have to ask questions. He's going to get hit and Floyd Mayweather's even going to maybe go in that corner and ask himself, does he really want this? Because I know for a fact that Shane Moses is coming to put it on him, literally put his force on him, throw shots on him that he ain't been hit with before. And then after that's all been said and done, then he's going to have to come back in the fight and, and show us why we say that he's the best pound for pound fighter in the world.